Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm on today with a collective haul. Um, I have a couple things from a shop on Etsy, and then I have a bunch of things that came in from AliExpress from um, an order I placed a few weeks ago. So um, by the time you see this video, I will have already posted another video of this collection that I purchased. It's an older Cardabella collection called Snow Much Fun. It's like a winter collection. Um, the other haul that I will have already posted um, showed me unboxing the collection kit, but on this particular site, I found just some like loose sheets of paper. So I'm going to show those to you. Um, it's just so, so I'd have a few extra sheets of this collection. Um, this is the um, really pretty like pale blue called Wonderland with the little white snowflakes. And then you have this design on the other side. You have this really pretty one here with the mountain with the snow tops, mountains with snow tops, and this one is called Winter Town because of this beautiful scene here. This collection is so, so cute. Um, I have this one here, which is like one of my favorite. I think this is probably my favorite paper. It's so cute with the little snowmen. This is called Snowflakes. I love the like mints and dark blue and stuff like that in this collection. It's just so pretty. I got this one called Snowy Floral. I have this one called Snow Globes, which is just, again, more snowflakes with these really cute snow globes on the other side. You could totally fussy, fussy cut some of those. I also got this one called Fun with Friends, which is just super cute. And then this one, with which has like these large snowballs on it, like snowballs, four by six journaling cards. And then I got this one here with a plaid called journaling cards and the cut aparts. So I didn't get every single sheet. I just got a few more sheets of the paper that I really liked of the collection that I could find. I also ordered another sticker sheet because it's so cute. Again, this came out in 2019, so it's a little harder to find, like, all at one, in one place. So I had to place multiple orders from, like, different sites. And then I did order, um, like, three of the chipboard elements. Now, the these are chipboard accents. They're not... Oh, these are adhesive. Okay. I didn't even realize they did adhesive stickers through uh, Cardabella. But look how cute these chipboard stickers are. So cute. I love that polar bear. He's so cute. Love all the, the trees and the snow globes, the mittens, the deer. So I actually ordered three of these because I love chipboard. And I just thought it was chipboard that I'd have to glue on. But it's nice that they have chipboard stickers. Okay. So that's everything that I got from there. I think it was on an Etsy shop. Yeah. Um, and then everything else is AliExpress. I ordered a bunch of dyes. I've been on like such a die kick the last few months since I got all my dyes organized. Now this one shop, I can't remember which one this came from, but they I, got, I ordered this really cute little, it's like an Easter egg box. It makes like a super tiny little box, um, like an Easter egg shape. I just thought that would be nice to have in my stash for Easter. And then this one is like a little snow globe memdex with a little deer and some trees that you could probably make a little scene inside the memdex. And they sent me a couple of like little papers. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is from... Excuse me. I'm pretty sure these next few are from KS Craft. Yeah. I got this one, which is this really pretty heart. I think this actually makes like a donut shape. I'm pretty sure it looks like a donut once it's all put together, like a heart shaped donut. I thought that would be fun for Valentine's Day. I got this really cute shaker tree. It's a little different than the one that I already have, so I thought that would be fun to have. It's like three compartments that you can put sequins in. So I got that one. I got the little um, Santa sack that a lot of um, the design team members have been showing. It's like this little like Santa sack that you can make into a... It's like a little box. So I wanted to have that for Christmas crafting. Um, it comes with like other little bits too, like a, some trees, a little bow, a little truck. It comes with nice little uh, accent pieces. And then this one is... Oh my gosh, I'd have to double check. It's some sort of box. Um, so I always have to go back and look at my order because, you know, obviously there's no picture. So that's those. 
And then I have a few more dies here from, again, just different shops. Um, this one is like, they called it, I think, like a star pinata. It's like a star, and it's got these little flags that come off of all of the little points of the star. It's hard to tell. Obviously, it's not put together, but that's what it'll look like. And then I thought this one was just super cute. It's a little, like, coin purse. And I think it might be a shaker. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then I got the mini one, too. Like, the little tiny one and then the bigger one. Got those. And then I got this really fun, like, shaker star memdex. And then this one, again, is another little box. And it's just it just says, happy birthday. And uh, has some little sentiments on here that you can, I guess, make it for multiple occasions. Hello, friend. Um... Yeah, happy birthday, Merry Xmas, and what does that one say? Get well soon. So yeah, just a little gift box. And then the last one is a little like, Christmas ornament. So I thought maybe I could actually make this into a shaker, even though it would be really wide. I don't know. We'll see. I might. I'm not sure. So I got all of those dies. All right, and then I got a ton of sequins. Now, as I mentioned in some other videos, I'm gonna start making sequin shakers and sequin mixes more often, so I wanted to really stock up on a lot of colors that I just don't have. Um, but before I show you the sequins, I also got these really pretty little flatbacks. Um, honestly, I wish that I would not have ordered these because I don't use flatbacks a whole lot, so I might just share a lot of these in like embellishment boxes and stuff. I might use a few, but like it's I, like maybe if I make flowers or something, I'll use these in like the centers, but they are very, very pretty. And I remember having these in my cart for like a really long time. I think that's why I just finally bought them, but they don't show up as well on the camera, but they are so pretty in person. They're like this beautiful iridescent finish. Um, so yeah, they're just little flat blacks. I'm sure I'll save and keep some, but I might just gift a lot of these in like embellishment boxes and whatnot. Um, so yeah, huge amount of them in the bag. All right, so sequins. I got a bunch. Um, from one shop, I got this one, which is kind of like a slightly off-white with like an iridescent finish. These are probably about a four millimeter. I'm not sure. And then these ones are like a clear, like iridescent. They're very clear with an iridescent finish. Okay, that's that shop. Another shop, I got um, these really pretty like, they're like confetti sequins. Um, I love the confettis that I get from C. Cartwright. So these are really pretty. I got that one, that white iridescent, this really pretty pale pink, this pale purple, and really pretty like red. It looks more like dark red on camera, but in person it's more like a berry red. Like really pretty. So I got those. And then one shop I just got this plain like goldish colored one, like a champagne gold. Okay, another shop I got, I just got them from a bunch of different places on Alley. All right, I ordered these little teeny tiny clear iridescent ones. Those are really small, like probably three millimeter. These little pink ones and this like bluish turquoisey color. Okay, from another shop, I got these ones, which are so pretty. It's like beautiful, like pink iridescent, so pretty. This is like a darker pink iridescent, so you can see the difference between those two. And then this one is a really light pink, um, almost like a, it's almost translucent, but not quite pale pink, real pretty. And then this is just a pale pink, like satin finish. Okay. And then from another shop, I got these little ones. These are super tiny. These are like probably, yeah, three millimeter. Maybe they're super tiny. Got that turquoisey color, this like hot pink. Again, it looks... I think I got, yeah, I got two of these. I think they're the same color. They look the same to me, but I got two of these hot pink ones. These are all those super tiny ones. It's like very, very AB iridescent, whatever it's, whatever that, that color is usually called, like an AB where it's like a bluish iridescent and then some like white iridescent. All right. And then I, um, last one I got, last shop I got from on Alley, I got these ones, this like dark pink, like a dark berry pink, this like dark turquoise. It looks much more green in person than it does on the camera from what I'm looking at on my phone. It's very like a green turquoise on the, on the, on the, um, camera screen. Uh, it looks very like blue, like a dark blue turquoise, but it looks more green in person. 
All right, I got these ones, which are like an off-white. This one, which is like a real pretty light aqua. This pale pink. And then I got these little flowers in this pretty pink color, like a rose pink with this real pretty shimmer. These really pretty purple ones, little flowers, and then this like turquoisey color. All right, so that is everything that I got from AliExpress and that Etsy shop for that uh, Card Cardabella collection. If anyone has any questions, please let me know. If you've not already, I'd greatly appreciate if you would consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.